Hi, welcome to this Corbin Maths video on drawing pie charts. In this video, we're going to look at how to draw a pie chart for some information. So here we've got a question, and the question says, some rugby fans were asked who they supported. Draw a pie chart to show this information. So we've got our table. We've got England had 15 fans, Wales had 30 fans, Ireland had 13 fans, and Scotland had 14 fans. And we're going to draw a pie chart to show this. So the first thing I'd recommend is finding the total frequency, the total number of supporters or fans. So to do this, I first of all check the question and see if it's been mentioned. So it doesn't actually tell us the total number of fans in the question. So then I go to my table and I see that I've got my frequency. So I can add these up to get the total. So let's do that. 5 plus 0 is 5. Plus 3 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. So put the 2 down, carry the 1. 1 plus, four, uh, one plus 3 is 4. Plus 1 is 5 plus one is six, plus one is seven. So altogether, there was 72 supporters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide 360 by that total. So whatever total you get in your question, whenever you add up your frequencies, you divide 360 by that number. And that will tell you the angle or the number of degrees per fan or per supporter or per person or whatever you're looking at in your question. So we're gonna do 360 divided by the total, so 72. 360 divided by 72 is 5. So each person or each fan gets 5 degrees in our pie chart. So 5 degrees per fan. So always divide 360 by your total to find the degrees per and whatever it is in your question. So now we know that each fan or each supporter gets 5 degrees. We're going to multiply each of these frequencies by 5 to find the angle for each sector. So We've got angle, we're going to times each of them by 5, so multiply by 5, multiply by 5, multiply by 5, and multiply by 5. So 15 times 5, 15 times 5 is 75, so that's 75 degrees. So the English uh, sector in the pie chart will get 75 degrees. Wheels, 30 times 5 is 150 degrees, so wheels will get 150 degrees in the pie chart. Ireland, 13 times 5, well, that's going to be 65 degrees in the pie chart. And Scotland, 14 times 5, is 70 degrees in the pie chart. Now what I do sometimes is I just check this by adding up these four, uh, four angles. So 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 10, so put a 0 down, carry the 1. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 7 is 25, plus 1 is 26, and carry the 2. And two, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So we've got our 360 degrees that we, we needed for our pie chart. So now we're going to draw a pie chart. And a typical question is to be drawn for you, this circle. So a circle will be drawn like this, and I'll have a line going from the center to the top of the circle. And to draw the pie chart, you're gonna need a pencil, a ruler, and a protractor, like so. Sometimes you can use a 180 degree protractor like this. Um, I actually like using the 360 one, um, but whichever one you prefer. So let's have a look at our angles. So for England, we need to draw a 75 degree angle. So let's start off by doing that. So we're gonna get our protractor, and we're going to line it up with the line that's been drawn for you. So we need to turn it around like so and until it's straight. We're gonna line up, get the cross, so the cross here at the center of the protractor, we're gonna put on top of this, um, where the line ends, the center of the circle, like so. And we're gonna make sure that we've got our zero at the top here. So we're gonna draw a 75 degree angle, so we're gonna go round to 75 degrees, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So that's where 75 degrees is. So let's move our protractor and get our pencil and ruler. So you're gonna get a pencil and ruler you're gonna go from the center through that point to the edge of the circle like so. And then what I do is I put in my angle, so 75 degrees, and I label it England. So that is the first one done. Let's have a look at the next one. So the next one is wheels. And for wheels, we need to draw a 150 degree angle. Now just remember that an angle over 90 degrees is an obtuse angle. So this is an obtuse angle, and it's 150 degrees. So let's go back to our pie chart. What we're gonna now do is get your protractor and we're gonna spin it around. And again, the cross will go on the center of the circle, but we now need to draw the line up the zero with this line that we've drawn. We always draw uh, line up the zero with the line that's just been drawn. So we're gonna line it up and it'll look something like that. The zero is not quite on the line, so we're just gonna straighten it up. So there we go. So it's lined up perfectly, so there's our zero. So we need to draw 150 degrees. So we're gonna go from our zero and we're gonna work around to 150 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 140, 150. So I'm gonna go around to there. Just make sure that that is an obtuse angle, and yes it is. Some students will accidentally just see this 150 and put the dot there, and that's obviously an acute angle. So that's why I'm showing you that you're gonna go around from the zero all the way around to 150 degrees there. So let's move our protractor 
like so, and draw. get your pencil and ruler and draw a line from the center through that point and to the edge of the circle. Okay, so that is our sector for wheels, and it was 150 degrees, so we're gonna write 150 degrees in there, and that is wheels. Now we're gonna do our next one. Our next one was Ireland, and that's 65 degrees. So again, we're gonna get a protractor, and we're going to spin it around so that the zero is lined up with the line that's just been drawn. So we're gonna spin it around, and we're gonna put the cross on the center of the circle. And we're lining up the zero with the line that's just been drawn. So there's our zero lined up with the line we've just that's just been drawn. And we're gonna measure our 65 degree angle. So we're gonna go around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65 is there. So then we're going to move the protractor, get your pencil and ruler again, and go from the center of the circle through that point to the edge of the circle. And that is Ireland, and that is 65 degrees. So 65 degrees and Ireland. And finally, um, our last section or sector is for Scotland, and that's gonna be a 70 degree angle. Now this angle here should be 70 degrees. What I tend to do is I tend to just measure it to make sure. Uh, so I get my protractor, and whenever you're labeling the, uh, labeling the regions or the, the sectors, make sure you're labeling them in pencil. So if you do need to change anything, you can just rub it out. So I do all this in pencil. So again, let's get our zero lined up with the line and put the cross in the center of the circle. And as you can see, that is a 70 degree angle. So that's it. So we can move our protractor, we can get rid of it. We can put our angle in here is 70 degrees. And that was for Scotland. And that's it. And that's your pie chart drawn. So to draw a pie chart, the steps are, first of all, find the total frequency that can be given in the question or can be found by adding up the numbers in the table. Then divide 360 by that answer and that will give you the number of degrees per person or per whatever you're looking at. Could be types of birds and it could be the number of you know each type of breed of bird, um, but it's the number of degrees per whatever it is. And then you're gonna multiply then each of the numbers in that table by your answer and then that will give you your angles and then you're going to draw your pie chart when drawing your pie chart it makes this all in pencil while you're drawing it um, there'll be a line drawn for you make sure you that you put the cross of the uh, protractor in the center and make sure you line up the zero up there make sure that you then go around and mark off 